From the hillsides of Italy to the hillsides of Lafayette, Chelsea's Pick combines the comfort of an Italian kitchen with fresh local ingredients to make a contemporary menu. In Lafayette, it's called Postino. Marcus and I were both bartenders here many years before we were owners. I think that when we were talking about taking this on, most of our clientele here was rooting for us to do it. You know, go for it. All of our investors are pretty much our regulars. I'm Marcus Hernandez. And I'm Perry Tong, and we are co-owners of Postino Restaurant in Lafayette. We take care of our staff. Our staff has been here for most of them 10 years or more. They're our family. If anything happens to them, we're right there if they need us. And that's the most important thing for us. Our locals are our friends. We've established great relationships with them. They can come here and be like at home. They can have the tables they want. We've just built a great relationship with each other. Our chef, Stuart Beatty, has been with us for over 12 years. His specials are amazing. I like a rustic style, Italian influenced California cuisine. Plenty of emphasis on local ingredients and thoughtfully procured ones. We like it to be rustic, but not overly fussy. Here at Postino, we have five unique rooms for different parties and different events. We have a heated copper bar, the atrium, which is with the open kitchen. We also have a family room, the library, and then we have our buca, which is, means cave in Italian. And we have a lovely patio with the fire pit that people really enjoy. Now, Chelsea, this is the, the blend of Italian and Californian, isn't it? It is, absolutely. And the way it's described, the comfort of that Italian kitchen is spot on. You can tell that it's kind of family-style Italian in the sense that the kitchen's open, so people dining in the main part of the restaurant can look in and see what's going on. Um, and then also it has those really great, fresh, locally sourced uh, California ingredients in there as well. What do you go to bed at night thinking, I need to go to Postino for? <laughs> Definitely the short ribs. And for as long as I can remember, the short ribs have been on the menu and they're so good. They're falling off the bone tender mm -hmm. and they're always cooked perfectly. I've ordered them for, I can't remember how long and I've never been disappointed by them. And they're paired with this really nice polenta. It's creamy, it's rich, and it has the freshness though of the vegetables in it too. So you have the nicely cooked peas and onions in there. So we had cocktails, of course. <laughs> well, Amen. Cheers to that. Cheers. 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 Had a big martini exactly. <laughs> on a Monday. And then um, we had the frito misto which was lovely. Uh, we had the roasted carrot salad, which was beautiful and just so in vogue in spring, in the, in the season. And then my heartthrob, the foie gras, on this oh. buttery, yumptious uh, brioche with a strawberry rhubarb compote and it was incredible, all the combinations together, the nice fattiness of the foie gras and then the fresh tartness of the compote was delicious. I'm still thinking about it. I mean, he's over here drooling. I'm gonna have to wipe the drool off his head. But you just coined a great phrase, yumptious. That's yes, exactly. <laughs> you yes. steal that yumptious. Exactly, <laughs> and that hit just the right amount of flavor without knocking your palate out for the rest of the meal because it was so incredibly rich and fatty. Right. And where did you go from the yumptious foie gras? <laughs> I went to the seafood stew. It was spectacular. The broth was amazing. It just knocked it out of the ballpark. Their lasagna is wonderful. It comes out actually in a cast iron pan. And so it's very hot and it comes out, uh, you can just see the layers. You have the noodles layered and you can see the cheese melting over it, the red mm. sauce. That's uh, definitely another go to dish. Did I ever try the soup? It was like a zucchini garlic soup. Yeah. It was, it tasted like spring because of the green yeah. was just so amazing. That was just such a, a standout dish for you. Yeah. Absolutely. And what about something to drink? Again, they have an extensive list in terms right. of Italy as well as California, but, mm -hmm. but they can take you on a journey from north to south. We stuck to the Sicilian wines for mm -hmm. the most part. We basically put our trust in the hands of a very knowledgeable wait staff and said, these are the dishes we're having, what do you recommend? And right. like, this would be perfect for it. Fantastic, what about you guys? I thought My Prosecco girl over there. Mm. I thought that the wine um, steward was 
excellent. She took us through the whole list. That service was excellent. And um, I had a lamb loin for, for the entree that had somewhat of a gremolata on it, but it had some some pine nuts in it, and it was it was just citrusy, delicious little relish on there with a, a spicy arugula salad and shaved parmesan, and it was just it was perfect. And um, what about dessert? We had the hummingbird cake, which I thought was fascinating to see that because it's that's an old classic, and I said, wow, they're going to do an old classic in a new way. So it's. A, literally like a spice cake that has banana and pineapple in it, but the, the coconut ice cream oh, was, was delicious. And then the Jamaican pineapple compote pairing with it, and then the cake is all iced with a cream cheese icing. It was good. I would have liked the cake just a little bit lighter. And it had a strawberry rhubarb crisp. That was excellent. <laughs> nice balance of tart and sweet, perfectly cooked fruit, and had a kind of an oatmeal meal, I think, also inside the crisp. Mm -hmm. Crunchy, delicious. Huh? Oh, we also had this peanut butter chocolate bomb, I think was, oh. it was <laughs> and <laughs> it was so beautifully presented, all of them. The desserts were actually my favorite part of that restaurant. Mm -hmm. um, it was, their desserts were spectacular. And what about service? Outstanding. Very elegant, yet really unobtrusive, and most importantly, really knowledgeable. Wonderful. This is your spot, Chelsea. Give us a quick summary. I would definitely recommend making an event out of this restaurant. So go enjoy a cocktail outside in the patio garden, dine in the beautiful dining room, and then finish up with dessert by the fire pit. All right, and Linda. Uh, elegant, uh, very knowledgeable and attentive staff, and um, exquisite cuisine. All right, Andrew? Definitely an event restaurant with incredible service and just beautiful presentation and really well thought out flavors. All right, if you would like to try Postino, it's located on Mount Diablo Boulevard at Lafayette Circle in Lafayette. The telephone number is 925-299-8700. It's open for lunch on weekdays, dinner every night. Reservations are recommended and the average dinner tab per person without drinks is around $50. Check Please Bay Area is made possible by the members of KQBD and by Safe Catch Elite Wild Tuna, great for athletes, kids, and pregnancy. Safe Catch tests each and every fish for mercury. Available at nearby stores. Walmart Global E-Commerce with small, agile work teams is focused on big data, engineering, and e-commerce innovations. Careers available at walmartlabs.com. Sutter Health CPMC, investing in community care for more than 150 years, including two new smart hospitals. Your city, your hospital. CPMC2020.org. Natural Mattress Systems from European Sleepworks, working to improve comfort and wellness for over 40 years. European Sleepworks in Berkeley, online at sleepworks.com. Oakland International Airport. Now with flights all over the world. iFlyOAK.com. IRG has over 250 types of natural stone choices in stock today. IRG in Brisbane and Dublin or at marblecompany.com.